Within the Mojave, many weird, strange, wonderful, and really fucking creepy places exist. Today, we shall look at but one of them. The Devil's Throat. A strange, filthy crevice located in the most northeastern part of the Mojave. Within this filthy crater, there are several things of notice. A rundown old truck. A troop of centaurs. A mound of radiated waste. A dead super mutant. And the peculiar corpse of a prospector. So what's the story here? Why are these centaurs here? What's up with the corpse of the super mutant? What happened to the prospector? And what's up with the giant nuclear bomb only a stone's throw away from this pit? Let's find out. So first of all, let's take a look at the waste. Now, it and the truck have obviously been here since before the war. Therefore, I surmise, this is the most likely a dumping ground, or was to be, for nuclear waste. Disposal of it would have been increasingly difficult given how much of it was produced at the time of the war. So a landfill in the desert is probably one of, if not the only way, to dispose of it practically. So it appears it was dumped here like an unwanted child at McDonald's. Now, given the fact this isn't chock full of loads of waste, and the truck seems to have shit the bed, I can only assume the bombs were dropped soon after, if not as soon as, the waste was dumped. And this is the only time the hole was ever used. Interestingly enough, this is actually a unique truck. The engine block is gone from the model and is the only one of its kind to be found in the Mojave. As for where the engine is, some cheeky tinker probably stole it. So then we have the centers, and a mutant that looks like he's recovering from a hard fucking bender. Well, as Fallout 3 showed us, the centaurs are the allies of the super mutants. They patrol with them, live with them, and fight with them. Now, I'll get into that in another video, but I think it's safe to say that these centaurs came here with the super mutant. The reason that there are some of all centaurs, and even the strongest of the centaurs, the giant of all centaur present, is due to the waste. The most common locations that they are found in are highly irradiated areas of the Mojave. So either they ate this shit or absorbed it. Either way, they've evolved and now roam about the place, fucking up anybody who comes near. Well, what about the super mutant, I hear you mutter. I was getting to that. Cunt. Anyway, I think this super mutant was most likely here for the waste. Their presence in the Mojave is quite weak. They would need all the advantages they could get. We know they have centaurs. My guess is that the goal was to get the waste and use it to evolve the centaurs to their stronger forms. To use as soldiers for whatever purpose they would need of them. So, if this is why they shoot up here, why is it dead? Well, that's all courtesy of the crazy bastard lying dead inside the truck. So this guy's a prospector, and he is lying dead with the unique minigun, the CZ-57 Avenger. This gun is actually pretty sweet and looks fucking awesome. Prospector is lying dead next to it, wearing some good reinforced combat armor, and a party hat. Which, to be perfectly honest, is more terrifying than all those centaurs combined. Now, throughout the surrounding area near the throat, there are several shallow caves that all end very abruptly. I think this guy created them. Given how well equipped he is, I don't believe it's too much of a stretch to say he may have had explosives for the purpose of excavation with him. When they didn't pan out, he wandered down into this pit to see what he could find. Once here, I think he realized there was nothing of worth to be found in the truck, and so took up refuge in the back. Once there, the super mutant and the centaurs rolled on in. The super mutant then started to look around. It walked in front of the truck, and was quickly shot down by the prospector. Now given how much ammo he had, he was able to keep the centaurs at bay. Being of low intelligence, they simply guarded their master's remains and, due to the high amount of radiation, evolved. After this happened, he realized he had no way to get out safely. So he, as you do, overdosed on jet, as apparently based on the empty containers on the ground. I do not know if it was from before or after this point that he donned the party hat, or where in the fuck he actually procured it from, but as ways to die go, high as a kite wearing a party hat and wielding a minigun while shooting mutants, it's not a bad way to go. So where did this super mutant actually come from? I mean, you don't go tracking around the Mojave alone with a troop of centaurs. Or maybe you do. I am not one, and this isn't real life. But I am saying you don't, so it is. Well, it was actually from a camp. Just a little northeast of the throat, a camp of super mutant masters can be found. Well equipped and ready to skin you to fuck. To be exact, there are three of them, with a bedroll for the fourth. Now, considering the one in the throat was only a normal super mutant, 
Here is my guess on what happened. These three stay behind and order the lower rank mutant to do some scudding in the throat, before he was shot in the back by a minigun wielding idiot. This means that they couldn't have happened too long ago, possibly only being just a few days since he went out. Though why they didn't walk the 100 meters to find him is beyond me, maybe they just didn't give a shit. In which case, they are probably deserved to die. If you have the Wild Wasteland perk, beside their camp will be an undetonated nuclear bomb called the One. Looking about as typical as you would expect for a bomb, the thing is fucking huge. Along one side is a timer that is stuck at 9999, which is most certainly an error. There is but one yellow insignia just down from the timer, representing vault -Tec. This bomb is identical to the one that can be found within Megaton in Fallout 3, suggesting that this type of bomb was prone to faults that led to it being undetonated. If you have over 60 science, you can try to activate it, you murderous bastard. However, it's fucked, so instead, you can salvage some ammo parts from it. But don't lie to yourself. You wanted to detonate that bomb, didn't you? You sick fuck. So that's the tale of the Devil's Throat, a supposed nuclear dumping site that became the grave of one incompetent super mutant and one really weird, possibly high, prospector. Due to the presence of the waste, quite a few centaurs went through super puberty and got to strut around more gorgeous, slash deadly, than ever before. The one could have been one of the very few bombs that actually made it through House's defense system, and if this was the case, there is a fair chance that it was because of the defense system that the bomb was disabled in the first place. The other, and in my humble opinion, much more likely scenario, is that vault -Tec are just shite at making things, and this is now two bombs of the same make that we know of that are not detonated. It's almost like there was someone who went around fucking up one in three of the things they made, just to see what would happen. Oh shit. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah, yeah, that, that, actually make, that actually makes a bit of sense. That sounds like them. I hope you liked this episode about a dirty hole and its creepy occupants. If you did, why not leave a like? I love reading comments, so get them in there. Any suggestions for future content or videos you would like me to do are appreciated and welcome. If you want to help me grow, share this video on as many social media sites as you can, especially Reddit. Tell everyone. If you want to contact me regarding business, send me a private message either here or on Twitter and I will get back to you as soon as possible. I hope to see you in my next episode and until then, goodbye.